Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a really quick tutorial going over a delete button for a gallery for those of you who may be just starting out with Power Apps and getting into galleries um, and adding a delete button in those rows. So basically what we have in front of us uh, is we have a gallery uh, that gets records submitted from this button here. We're collecting whatever's in this text field and we're sending it to the collection call stuff. So if we were to go into the player right now and add a record, we'll just say record and we click the add button, we can see that it goes into our gallery. So if we're looking for a way to add a button in here to delete a record, let's say this was a mistake, what we'd wanna do is click in the first row of the gallery um, and up here on the left, we'd wanna go insert. And from here you could use whatever you want. Um, there's a trash can icon uh, in Power Apps already, but if you wanna use a button or something else, but for this video, we're gonna use the trash can icon. So we're just gonna type in trash and you can see it shows up under icons. Uh, we can bring that over here to the right maybe make it black and scale it down a bit. So to get it to delete this record, uh, what we wanna do is click on it, make sure we're on the on select property uh, and we wanna call the remove function. So you wanna type remove and then an open parenthesis and we can see up here that it's looking for a collection or a data source um, and then specifying which item to remove. So in our case, the data source we're looking to target is this call stuff data source. So what we wanna do is type in that so now we're targeting that. So as far as the item goes, since we're working with a gallery and we can reference its data structure, we can type this item uh, and that is going to be referencing a different record for each row. So obviously for this row, this item is going to mean this row and the next one, if we click it here, it would affect uh, this record and so on and so forth. So if we go ahead and close that off and now we click play and we click on this trash can icon, uh, we can see that we are actually deleting records. Uh, so we can add a couple new ones and we can delete those as well. So another quick tip is if you want a button to clear out the entire gallery, let's say we want to remove all records from this data source, uh, what we can do is we'll click on the insert and we'll put down a button. So we'll put that at the bottom. Uh, we'll set its text to be clear table. And if we go to the on select property of this button, what we want to do is remove the false from here and we will add a clear function and open that up. So all clear once is a collection name and it will clear out everything in there. So we can put our call stuff collection and close that off. And now if we go to play, we can click uh, clear table and all the records are gone. So like I said, just a really quick tutorial video for anyone that's just starting out with galleries. Uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed the video today. Make sure if you did, please like and subscribe and we will see you in the next one.